So if you want to make your own snapper rigs, what would you need? So we've got a little... There's a bending machine. A little bending machine. Tube there. bending machine. A tube bending that's lovely yep. like that. And obviously you, you'll need a, a welder. Yep, so you'll need a... So obviously this is not going to be for the average Joe bloke who doesn't know how to weld. Maybe not, no. It's probably not. So if you do know how to weld and you do it for a living, this is quite something you could do yourself. Yeah, you could. So a TIG, obviously, a TIG welder. TIG. Auto flash helmet. Auto flash. Uh, what else would you need? Uh, metal cutting equipment. Metal cutting. Yeah, so flapper discs. A little flappy. A little hint for the kids playing at home. Yes. <clears throat> so... On the back of all my flapper discs. You got SS? SS, stainless steel. Stainless steel? Right, all of them are marked. The thing is, with um, stainless steel, it's expensive, so you don't want to go and waste it. You can't use any other disc, non SS, so I've been using that for what, normal steel, carbon steel, or whatever. If you touch your stainless steel with this, grind it, polish it back inadvertently, the um, your stainless steel will rust and corrode and root it. Why? Because it penetrates and puts uh, iron into the, the steel. Wire brushes even, they're all stainless. You can't use them for a minute and just rub them on a bit of standard steel. Well, here's the tube here. Yeah, it's stainless 316 marine grade stainless steel tubing. 1.6 mil thick walls, mirror finish polish. So I think they finish it in about 600, 800. So we are using the more expensive uh, rod holders from Viper Marine, about forty dollars each. But yep. they do look better than the old ones. Where's the old ones? So these are the old ones, just the wire ones. From the, the this point to the furthest outer point, which is the bend radius, is one hundred and fifty mil. So when I want to go, perhaps. On that, I wanted it to be roughly that 200 mil above the, the gunnel. I'll remove that off the total length. So when I do my bend, by the time I have allowed for the 150 in height radius, I'm at the right finish height. So I've got my mark. So You've got my your mark, mark that's your 150. That's my 150. 150, which is your height. Yep. Now I've also made up a shim. Didact used to be the king of shimmy. Attention span's fucking minimal, isn't it? I make a shim so it doesn't dip the uh, stainless too much. Oh, it's nice. So like a protector. Yes, correct. Up. Oh, let's just bend that. Look as we go around. How do you know when to stop? Oh, show in a sec. Right. Then I run a square off it. Hey. All right. All right. And then I just check for the 90 degrees. So by the time I take it back, it looks pretty good. Pretty Not good. too bad. All right. Will you check that on the boat? I will. Ooh, that's sexy. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah. All right. So we're not so much worried about the height from the... Um, Bang, could knock you right in the mouth. Not so worried about the height so much at the moment. Uh, just a um, question. Where would someone purchase these? Uh, Bell Marine. So everything from Bell Marine. They make all your fits and finishes. So if you are interested in actually making your own snapper X, I'll leave a description in the link below to everything that the cap's using today. If you are in a position to make your own. Now, if you're not in a position to make your own, I'll leave the cap <laughs> Instagram and the cap can make your own custom uh, snapper rigs. How good would that be? I actually might send him a message myself and see if he'll build mine. No, this is the next part. Looking quite short down there. Yeah, I know. I know. So, so what do we got here? So, so you're going the height. Yeah, so what I'm doing is working out the straight line across. Back. Back. Where because we want you want to be the same height the other side. Correct. And I want this bend because this is going to go 90 degrees that 90 way. 90 degrees, so you want to know. Correct. So, what I'm going to do. I want to know. Sorry. So, then that is a maximum outside. So, again, we mark here. And like I said before, when we go to bend it, we come back 150 because that's our radius. Right. So, by the time we ended up bending this around. Correct. 
but if we start our bend 150 mil back, yes. by the time we come around and that extra width I've shown, we are square. we're square to where we have to return here. So that's the mark, the maximum that I spoke to about before. Yes, you did. So then we come back, that radius, whatever that bend is there, which, which is on yours, it's 150. It's 150 by the time you do it. Someone else's so, might be slightly different. Yeah, depending on which dolly you use, with thickness. I of shouldn't line. help you. Oh, you shouldn't. So 150. I'm a scumbag. Is here. Kello, actually. Yeah. So by the time we start bending here, mm -hmm. that radius will come around. And we 150. And that'll be the 150. It's 150. So how do you know yep. if you're square vertically? And square horizontally when That's you're bending it. Excellent question, Anthony. Excellent question, and I'm glad you asked. Of course. I've got a spirit <laughs> level. Ah. Yes. Okay. Because I mean, it's all good, well, good and well. Mm -hmm. I can't speak properly. Yeah, go ahead. You know, to put it in and say if it's slightly off skew like that. Yeah. You're not, not going to bend it like that. No, because then it's rooted. Because then your hole, <laughs> what is this, is no good. In 90 degrees, when you put it in the rod holder, it'll be up like this. So one and can assume balance. that when you're setting up your bending yep. machine or whatever, the that is square. First bend doesn't matter. Obviously, every other bend from that point. Is so this doesn't have to be well, square yes, horizontally. Yes. You want to, it makes life easier. Yeah. Well, wiggle right. that out to There's your mark. My, and you got your little shimmy in there to mark, protect it. My shim to try and protect it as best I can. It's not the greatest bender in the world. No. Right, it's not Deserves to be level. by the greatest. No, nah, it's not professional level. Right, I'm not pretending it is. So again. So you're gonna square that up I'm gonna square before you up. bend it. Correct. And I'll give it to some sort of monkey idiot just to hold that level. Oh, so obviously you've got you're a referring moment. that to me. <laughs> Correct. So if you just hold that So level. if you didn't have another monkey idiot sidekick, yep. you would use uh, like a clamp of sorts. Yes. So obviously if you're on your own, which he's not, he's never on his own, no, you should probably use something like this. Just to clamp it on there, hold it nice and level. Happy with that? Yep. So then I push on this bar as well so it doesn't kink it. And I pull this at the same time. Takes a bit fair bit fast, it does, doesn't it? Yep. Because it gets worked on. So we'll check that for 90 degrees. I reckon it needs a little bit more, but we'll check it. Whoa. You're getting old when your hands will start cramping up. Glad to see you joined us. Look at that. That is nice and level up. Like that. telling people before you know bend it 90 degrees but I actually wanted to bend it slightly more so we can still use ah, these external yes. rod holders. So when we're trawling along we don't have to pick these out. On that odd chair to actually get out of lockdown we can actually go for some tuna. Yeah so you don't have to rip these out or every kingfish time you maybe. don't do any trawling or right, yeah. salmon or whatever you can just chuck them in the rod holder you don't have to pull everything apart. Oh like last time. Yeah. So basically you're gonna set up a set square. Yeah. And that's where you want to end up, the back of that pole. Correct. So you're doing it from centre. So not from the, the back. No, from the outside. From the outside, correct. Because that's it, where you want to finish. When you when you're marking out the um, the radius, that's the measurement from outside to outside. Yes, of course. On the machine. Of course. Of course, Anthony. Yeah. I knew so that. So I mark that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not the best to do it in the in the rain, is it? Nah, it makes it a little tricky, but it's okay. Tricky. So Something like up. that. Yeah. You see that? Yes, I can. I know that people at home. But I mark that, and then again, what do I do? Subtract the 150 bend radius. Yes. So I'll take from this the back outside in. of that. From there, the back, I'll come back 150. 150. By the time I do my bend, it'll come right down to there. Right into there. Right. She goes in. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's like a glove. Oh, he's magnificent. Oh, no. So pretty much now all you got to do is throw on the rod holders. It basically at your own leisure, whatever wherever you want, want them. You can have four, five, six. You have three, as many on there three, as you want. Whatever. You want. Starting where you want. Um, obviously for us this is too high, and it's the rod holders are going to hit hmm. probably there like that, and it's a pain in the That's neck. Cool, so yeah. we will constantine at this. Cut that in half and put a couple of extra stainless steel hinges in there so it pivots on itself. Yep. But uh, yeah, you can custom make this to however you want it. So we'll probably put a rod holder sort of pointing backwards, or at least straight out. And that uh, well, yeah, just mirror the side here. 
really, at the end of the day. Before, the actual hinge was towards the street, and I'd always leave it open, so if you're driving along, it'd be like hanging out. So now the calf's gonna hinge it back the other way. all that idiot proof. Now, I'm not pointing fingers. Well, there's only one not here, no, no, no. which would be you and I. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. No, I just see a potential improvement, really. Just an opportunity for greatness. I think we'll just hinge it from there. Yep, cross. We'll just undo it here, and then the whole lot will hinge out of the way. Yep. And we'll be able to just climb up here on the off chance that we're allowed to get out and fish. Oh, and uh, climb straight through there. <laughs> Final, final result. Is that in focus? This, this is the final result. Click that, undo it, and in we go. If there's something we've missed, or there's something you're not quite sure of, then make sure you leave a comment below and the cap will get back to you. Everything we've used in this video, I will leave in a description below. That is a description below so you can find that and click on the link and go to the correct parts and all the materials used in this video and we will see you somewhere in the big blue soon i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want to check out more awesome content then make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you'd like to check out and see what we're up to on a daily basis then you can check out our socials down here thanks for watching and i'll see you somewhere out there in the big blue